Hi, my name is Gary Puckett. I'm a banjo player and a banjo teacher. And um, this is going to be the first in a series of videos about all things banjo. Um, from beginners to pretty advanced or very advanced things. We'll cover a lot of topics. Um, this first video is going to be about kind of an unusual topic, playing the banjo slowly. Um, as you know, banjo is a lot of fun to play. It's a lot of fun to play fast. But our fellow musicians often give us a hard time about playing fast and loud. And if we told the truth, there's, there, they might be right a little bit. Um, but I believe the banjo really has a beautiful voice and it can play slow things and uh, uh, more melodic things in a way that other instruments don't. It brings a unique voice, uh, I believe. Um, so uh, today we're going to work on Amazing Grace. We'll do a down the neck version of it an up the neck version using chord inversions and then we'll kind of look at some of the ideas in that. If you're a brand new beginner to the banjo, this probably isn't where you want to start with your playing, uh, but go ahead and watch it and uh, hopefully get some inspiration and uh, hope you enjoy it. And there'll be some other things coming up for you guys and gals later. So uh, amazing, great. Okay, let's look at some of the ideas we used in that arrangement of Amazing Grace. Um, the first part of it is pretty straightforward. The down the neck part, uh, a lot of slides. One unusual thing is this backwards slide. Etc. Um, I, I do have tab available for the, both of these arrangements, the down the neck and up the neck. If you uh, leave a message on the YouTube site or send me an email, I'd be glad to get the tab to you. Uh, I can send it, I can stale mail it or give you a PDF or whatever. Um, so we won't spend a whole lot of time going over that. Let's look at the uh, up the neck version of it because that's where the, the fun stuff is. Boy, my banjo is shiny today. Sorry about that. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Um, this version is based around uh, these up the neck chord inversions. What a chord inversion is, it's just another way to play a chord. For instance, this is a G, this is a G, this is a G, this is a G, etc. Um, the technique we're going to use here is uh, jazz guitar players refer to this as chord melody. It's a way of playing the sequence of the chords in a song but you play the chords in such a way as the melody note is the highest note you hear in the chord. Because um, your ear will usually interpret the highest note it hears in a chord as the melody. I'll show you what I mean. I'll uh, play a little phrase of Amazing Grace twice. I'll play it right once, and then I'll play it wrong once. Hopefully I'll only play it wrong just once. So. Okay, that sounded like Amazing Grace. You hear that? You see how that last note sounded wrong? It sounded off. Uh, what happened was, I played the right note, but it was buried here in the middle of the chord. You didn't really hear it. What you heard was this high note. So uh, this style of playing 
requires that you know chords up and down the neck really well and you have to be judicious about what strings you choose to play out of the chord. We don't really want to play anything higher than the melody note. So I'll just play through it and we'll, we'll kind of talk our way through this. We're going to start off with this middle of the neck G. Now what I'm playing here is a G7. Uh, seventh chords work nicely to set up tension to move to the next chord if the next chord is a fourth higher. So if we count up from G, G, A, B, C, four, uh, C is a fourth higher than G. So if we play a G7, see how that seventh kind of pushes you into that C? There's a lot of great licks we can use and we'll we'll go over those in, in the future for now it's a g7 c back to g again stopping at this d note on the second string going to play that what i did here i just slid up to this d chord up at the 10th and 12th frets and the melody stops here, so we got to kind of fill it in with something. So we'll do a little, a little fill lick here. What I did was just walk down from a D to a D7. The melody picks back up. B, C. Well, I'm, I'm going to add a harmony note to it. Back to G7, C. This is a chord substitution. The uh, What a chord substitution is, it's uh, replacing the chord that normally goes there with something that is almost like it, but kind of brings a little different flavor to it. So normally we would play a G there. I'm going to play an E minor. E minor is a real common chord substitution for a G. And you can try it in a lot of different situations and see if it works for you. D7 this time. So there's Amazing Grace. Um, again, I have tab available for uh, for both versions of it. So um, look for more videos. We're going to do one about chord inversions, talking about these chords going up and down the neck and how to connect them and all the fun that can be had with that. And uh, we'll be doing more about how to play the banjo uh, on slower, uh, more melodic tunes. We'll do fast ones too. So thanks for watching. Appreciate your time. And if there any questions, anything I can do to help you with your playing, uh, leave me a message and get a hold of me and I'll do what I can for you. Thanks a lot.